Hello everyone, today's video is about a topic that we have covered in multiple videos, but we thought it deserved its own video, and that topic is downloading and building Unreal Engine from source. Now, you may be asking why would we do this, and what are the benefits of this over just getting Unreal Engine from the Epic Games launcher, which is easier and quicker to do. Well, there are many advantages to the source version of Unreal Engine. The most obvious is that you are getting the full, most up-to-date version of Unreal with the latest features and bug fixes. With the full version of Unreal Engine, you can build a dedicated server separately from the client and a client separately from the dedicated server, which is really useful for developing multiplayer games. For the advanced C++ developer, you can take advantage of stepping inside engine code while debugging, a feature only available in the source version of Unreal. In addition to debugging, you will be able to look at the actual C++ implementation of base classes such as AActor and APON. Modify engine properties for building and packaging games in different configurations and platforms, and fix bugs in the engine that can then be shared with the rest of the Unreal community. Enough rambling, let's get started. In this video, we are going to assume that you have Unreal Engine from the Epic Games Launcher installed, as well as Visual Studio set up with Unreal Engine. If you don't, then please watch our videos on how to do so. The first step is to simply create a GitHub account if you do not have one since the source code for Unreal Engine is located on the Epic Games GitHub page. To do this, go to github.com and create a new account by filling out the fields on the right hand side of the home page. Then click on the sign up for GitHub button. This will take you to a new page where you will have to provide more information to finish setting up your account. Once your GitHub account is created, go to epicgames.com and sign into your Epic Games account by clicking on the sign in button on the top right of the page. After you've signed into your Epic Games account, hover over your username on the top right corner of the page and click on the account button. Then on the left hand side, select the connected accounts tab and under where it says GitHub, there should be a button labeled connect. Now, in my case, it says disconnect because I've already connected my GitHub account to my Epic Games account. But for you guys, since this is the first time you guys are doing this, it should say connect. So click on the button and that will prompt you to sign into your GitHub account and authorize Epic Games to use that account. To make sure everything's working, go to the Unreal Engine GitHub repository under the Epic Games account. Link will be in the description below. Make sure you're signed in and check to see if you see what I'm seeing right now. If you do, that means you've done everything correctly so far. But if you don't, then that means you've either missed a step or you've done a step incorrectly. Just a little information about this repository, it contains all versions of Unreal Engine 4, so if we click on the button labeled branch released, we will see a bunch of versions starting from 4.0 going down to 4.23, and at the time of this recording, Unreal version 4.23 has not been officially released yet, but like I said earlier with Unreal Source, you can get a sneak peek at the latest version of Unreal Engine. Just keep in mind that it may not be stable. If you want the latest stable release of Unreal Engine, then go to the release branch, which is technically the default branch. There are also other branches such as the development branches, master, promoted, and the staging branches. To learn more about those, I would highly recommend reading about them in the readme at the bottom of the repository. Last thing before leaving this repository, click the green clone or download button, then click the clipboard button to copy this GitHub link. We will need it for later. Now go to the downloads page for Git, link will be in the description below, and start the download by clicking on the download button. Once the download has finished, double click the file that was downloaded, this is the setup file or installer file, and then you'll be prompted if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, just select yes, and then that should open up the setup, and click on next, 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 I just say next to everything, and then this will proceed with the installation. Once Git is finished installing, open up File Explorer and find the directory where you want your Unreal Engine source build to be located in. I chose the Documents folder, but it doesn't really matter which folder you choose, just so long as the file path of that directory is not too long, because if it is very long, that may cause problems later down the road. So my only suggestion is to choose a folder in which the file path is not very long. Once you have found that directory, go to it in File Explorer and then right click in File Explorer and select Git Bash here. This will open up a Git Bash terminal that is CD'd into that directory. Then type Git clone, right click, select paste. This should paste that link that we copied from earlier and press enter. This will start the cloning process of the source code and it may take a while. Once the cloning is finished, you should notice a new folder titled Unreal Engine in your directory. Personally, what I like to do is to rename the Unreal Engine folder by right clicking in File Explorer and selecting rename. 
and I like to rename it to UE underscore version number, which in this case is 4.22.3, because by default the release branch is what's cloned. The reason why I renamed the folder is that I often have multiple versions of Unreal Engine source. If you don't want the latest stable release and would rather have another version, then go to your git bash terminal and cd into your Unreal Engine source build folder, which in my case is called UE underscore 4.22.3. And the first thing you'll notice is on the right of the file path, it says release in parentheses. Type in git fetch origin and what this will do is it'll retrieve all of the remote branches you saw earlier in the github repo and let's say you want to work with unreal version 4.20 for example what you can do is you can type out git checkout dash f dash b 4.20 origin slash 4.20 and press enter and what this will do is it'll create a local branch called 4.20 that tracks the remote branch called 4.20 and if you want to use any other version of unreal engine source you can replace 4.20 with any of the branches from the github repository that we saw earlier however i want to work with the latest stable release so i'm going to go back to the release branch by typing out git checkout dash f release and press enter now we are going to download some .NET packages. Go to the Visual Studio installer, I already have it open, and click on where it says modify. Then go to the individual components tab on the top and select the latest .NET framework SDK, which in my case is version 4.7.2, and select the targeting packs for the older .NET frameworks. Lastly, select the development tools for .NET Framework 3.5. Basically, the reason we are installing one SDK and a bunch of targeting packs is that the SDK is backwards compatible with older versions of .NET and different parts of Unreal Engine are built with different versions of .NET. You technically don't need all of these targeting packs, but it's better to be safe. When you're done, click the modify button on the bottom right to start the download and installation. Once the installation is done, open up command prompt and administrator mode and then cd into the directory of the Unreal Engine source build and type in setup.bat. Once setup.bat is finished running, type in generate project files.bat dash the version of Visual Studio that you have installed. So in my case, I have Visual Studio 2019 installed, so I would type in 2019. Press enter and let that run. Once generate project files.bat is finished running, go back to your Unreal Engine source build folder and go to the bottom and you should see a new file called ue4.sln. Open this Visual Studio solution file in Visual Studio by double clicking it. Once the engine is open in Visual Studio, under where it says debug, click on the drop down menu and select development editor for your solution configuration. And then in the drop down menu to the right of that, select Win64 for your solution platform. And then on the right hand side, under the solution explorer, Find the engine folder and then right under it you should see something called UE4. Right click that and select build. So now that the engine has finished building successfully, I'm going to go to one of my old projects that I made with the regular version of Unreal Engine and I'm going to go to the uProject file of this project and I'm going to right click it and select switch Unreal Engine version and I'm going to change the version from a binary version of Unreal Engine to a source build version of Unreal Engine. Then I'm going to press OK and I'm going to let the project files regenerate. Then, once that's done, proceed to open the project's Visual Studio solution file. Once the project is opened up in Visual Studio, make sure for the solution configuration, once again, Development Editor is selected. For the platform, select Win64, then right-click the project under the Games folder and select Build. After the project has compiled successfully, go to your project and open the project in the Unreal Engine Editor by double-clicking the Unreal Engine project file. You may be prompted by Windows Defender Firewall to give Unreal Engine access, so when prompted to do so, just click on the Allow Access button. Now that Unreal Engine has opened our project, let's play the game to see what's going on. Now, in the video where we actually set up Visual Studio with Unreal Engine, we adjusted the code so that our player is moving really, really slowly. So, if we press Escape to stop the game, let's go back to our code, specifically the character class, and let's go to where we actually set the max walk speed of our character. Here it's set to 100, which is really slow. Let's set it back to 2000, a really, really large value, so that we can notice a huge difference in speed. Once we've done that, let's go under the games folder, select our project, right click, and select build. 
Once the project is built successfully, let's go back to the Unreal Engine editor and play our game once again. This time you'll notice that when we move the character, the character moves substantially faster than it did before. That's because once again we changed the max walk speed from 100 to 2000, and as usual, changes in our code should be reflected in our game. That is pretty much it. That is all you guys need to know on how to build Unreal Engine from source. You guys can start building games now from Unreal Engine source, specifically multiplayer games. And if you found the video helpful or if you enjoyed the video, then please like, comment, subscribe, join us on Discord, support us on Patreon, follow us on social media. All the links to those will be in the description below. And as always, have a nice day.